and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Hynek, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. What an attractive shirt you got on there, Brad. Well, something new. Today, we're going to talk about back pain. Should you wear a back brace? We got kind of five rules to follow. Uh, this video is not referring to braces after, like, well, if you have scoliosis, which is highly recommended, that's highly specialized, or after back surgery. Those are different issues. You're going to have to wear a very rigid back brace after surgery. Right, and that's particularly a protocol with it. Right, exactly. They're going to tell you when to take it off and when to, you know, leave it on, usually over weaning it off, right? Sure. By the way, if you're new to our channel, oh. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, join us on our social media channels. We're always giving something away. We're not tonight. We're starting tomorrow. We'll tomorrow. be giving away some of our T-shirts, some of oh, our merch. There we go. Our merchandise. There you go, Bob and Brad. So just uh, go to like bobandbrad.com and go to giveaways. Or uh, if you go to our Facebook, sometime next week we'll have it pinned to the top of the page. There you go. So let's talk about kind of the five different scenarios here, Brad. Uh, number one, I would not wear a back brace if you just have a everyday normal muscle strain, back strain. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them do come with an ice pack that you can put in there yeah. and strap it in there. In that case, fine. You can wear it for a couple of days, right. but to, to buy one just for that, I, I would not. It's just, right. I mean, you could use a normal one and just stick one in there and tighten it up and it would right. hold it if you had one. Right. You know, and, yeah. and that way you could be a little active while you're, you're having it on, but right. no, there's no reason behind, uh, using it. And the second rule is also true. I would not use it for preventatively, preventatively, and and this used to be pretty popular. We used to see some of the different companies that were having people. You'd see if they if they had a lifting job that they'd actually be wearing braces uh, uh, like this, right. and they'd have the strap on, and then when they did some, some lifting, they'd tighten it. Right, so. right, and the straps go over the shoulder, and you any bend, they kind of tug on your shoulder. We'll show this in just a yeah, minute. It remind, so. Yeah, we'll get into that. So really, don't use it for preventative. I think a lot of people are, you know, maybe shocked to know that really a lot of times back pain is not a lifting issue; it's a sitting issue. Sure, um, and the sitting actually can be more harmful to you than than the lifting because you do it prolonged over periods of time in kind of a bad posture. Right. So. Right. So don't use it for preventive. Uh, the only d exception I would say maybe if you're lifting weights and you get a lifting belt, that's right. a different story. Yeah, I mean there you're doing some Hit massive weights. Right, and you really and those belts are yeah designed pretty substantial for that, right. for that so, purpose. I also wouldn't wear it all the time. I would only use it for the stressful tasks, like you know if if you're having back pain um, and it's just not run of the mill back pain. We'll talk about some of the situations. Um, like if you're going to garden or if you're going to vacuum or make your bed, you know, you used to use it for riding the lawnmower, didn't you? Brad? Right. Either that or if I'm doing lawn work or doing some brush, cutting some brush down, moving some brush, then like one of these, like this. Yeah. Why don't you show this one, Brad? Yeah. This is kind of a this nice This is one. nice because right now it's loose. It's very comfortable. It's loose. It's, it's not tight on me. So it's really not doing anything. No, but it's there. Yeah. So then if I have, let's say I'm working around the yard and I'm going to move some logs or, you know, some, uh firewood and it's like well i better tighten it up get some support sure. then, so see what it does when he does that so i just have these two things they got a nice thumb hold so you can pull it and then can you see yeah so you can see how it's spread apart here now watch how as he pulls it see how it squeezes together there is that seeable is that a word seeable <laughs> um was it noticeable there we go there. That's our English teacher. And, and these so. are just Velcro, and they have Velcro around here, and, and now it's tight. And now I would go ahead and do my lifting, and I have that snug around my back. And it feels good. You know, you can feel that nice. But, you know, if you wear this this tight for 20, 30 minutes, it's, it starts to become a little uncomfortable. Then, you know, simply just do this, and you're back to loose and everything. And Brad is exactly the reason, one of the rules why you might want to wear it. Brad has spondylolisthesis. And it, you actually get those micro motions going on that yeah. can be irritating to your back. Sure. And this can help prevent those micro motions. Now, you'd also have that with osteoarthritis or regular arthritis of your back. Sure. Or maybe de degenerative disc disease. Yep. Um, in those instances, you might want to use it like this. But rule number five is I try to not to use it for the long term. Um, mm -hmm. Although the studies have shown, because the theory was always that it's going to weaken your core. 
Right. Uh, but the studies really have shown that that's really not the case, especially if you don't wear it that often. Right. But in your case, you did kind of wean off of it, right, Brad? You're kind of yeah. Using I used to else. I used to use it riding my lawnmower because it was bouncy and then uh, lifting and stuff. But actually, I've changed my uh, my workout. I started doing more standing core exercises because sure. I can't do planks because it hurts my back. I, I used a wall anchor and I really changed how I worked my core and it's really made a, a nice difference over the last year with my running as well as outdoor activity. So uh, yeah, I actually have it hanging in my garage. I don't use it near as much anymore. Okay, well that's good because you followed the advice that I'm giving today. There you go. So, uh, so again, don't use it for a muscle strain. Don't use it for preventative. Do not wear it all the time. Use it only for the stressful events. Do, do try not to use it for long term, kind of wean off of it. And it, it may be helpful, again, for short term for people who have like spinal osteosis, osteoarthritis, degenerative disc disease. Also, I'm going to mention a compression fracture. If you have a compression oh, fracture yeah. where the bones actually get squished down a little bit, yep. um, you may wait, need a, a rigid brace for that for a while until it, it heals. Sure. So, and uh, here Brad is showing the other one. This is the one that kind of works out nice in that. You can, it's the same thing. You can keep it very loose. And then when you need it, you can just tighten it up and the straps are there. There you go. So like that little we go. slugger. This isn't quite as does it tight. Pull, yeah, as, as it that doesn't one. lock in like the, that, that model, but it still works nice. And these are kind of nice because when you, you bend forward, you feel it move on your shoulders and it's a reminder that, oh, and then you go like this, and it doesn't move on your shoulder. Yeah, the other thing I always liked, the, the only other thing I liked about braces is if, if you're having back pain, mm -hmm. it's showing people that you have back pain. Yeah. You know I mean, it, it's one of those things that's invisible, and people are going, you know, why is he acting so weird, or right. why, why is he not helping out? And you're like, oh, he's got back pain. Right. It's so, like a sling. Yeah, you know, exactly. You'll, you'll wear a sling for a shoulder problem. Sometimes protect your shoulder from using it, but also from having someone to come up and you go, yeah, how's it going there, Brad? The yeah. so it's hey, a, Brad, how's it going? It's a visual caution for right, right. Should have a little sign on this. Yeah. Says, Back pain. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. There you go, Bob. We can put a back brace around it. I don't think these are going to help a broken no, heart. No, no. It doesn't go high. Unless enough. you wear it up high around your chest. Like that. <laughs> Like a brassiere, maybe tighten her up. I don't think it's gonna fly. Brad, this is a family show. <laughs> you know. All right. Thanks for fun. watching.